excited are you to play Notre Dame? Yeah, um, I'm really excited. It's going to be, a, you know, an exciting time down there, and um, you know, we're all, the whole team really is really excited. And um, I mean, that's really what it is. What did you learn and about what a team can gain in a bowl preparation from your first experience last year? Yeah, um, I mean, one, it's a, it's a really exciting time, you know, playing in a bowl game and everything, and. Um, you know, last year we did a lot of activities and stuff, um, and I feel like uh, from last year um, I sort of took away, you know, being able to handle that and then also preparing for the game itself. Um, so I know that going forward this year, you know, we'll be like more locked in and everything uh, practice wise and, and before we actually go out there and stuff, everyone's going to be, you know, dialed in the detail and stuff. So. Um, you know, it's something that I took away from last year's game. Do you get excited about a matchup like Notre Dame in particular, a prestigious brand in college football? Yeah, no doubt. Um, I feel like growing up, it's a team that I watched playing um, along, you know, with all the other programs and stuff. But um, to play against, you know, such a, you know, a rich history of a program as Notre Dame, you know, is pretty special, um, especially, you know, um, all the things that we've been through and stuff. And, you know, to cap off a season with a game like that is going to be really exciting. Do you ever look at bowl projections or anything? I don't know. Uh, did you when you were a kid? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, as a kid, yeah. All the bowl games and everything to me, you know, were, were really important and, and they were exciting to me. So. Have you ever been to Orlando before? Uh, yeah, my dad's from Florida, so I mean, going back there will be pretty sweet to play in front of like his family and friends and stuff, or my family. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. You already have a lot of ticket requests from them and stuff. Or? Uh, yeah, um, my, my mom's been trying to handle all the stuff, you know, since it got released. So. Got a lot, a lot of uh, planning to do that right now. So. What kind of springboard can a bowl game be to 2020? Um, yeah, it's going to be huge. You know, as far as you know, sending out the seniors the right way for one, and then um, getting ready. You know, for what 2020 um, you know lies ahead of us, and I think it's going to be huge for the freshmen um, to you know, you know, get ready for this bowl game, and um, you know, after you know the game and stuff. Hopefully it'll be, you know, a great way to start off 2020. Um, and, you know, we're all excited for it, and we're going to take it one day at a time. Coach Campbell had talked about how you have to remember this team is young. Is it – sometimes you get lost, like, you have to kind of take a step back and remember how young you guys are, and maybe there were growing pains at times? Yeah. Um, you know, we still do have, like you said, a lot of, you know, underclassmen and stuff playing and, you know, trying to take on, you know, big leadership roles and whatnot. Um, so – you know, the growing pains and things that we've been through this year, you know, haven't been, you know, all, all that pleasant. But um, again, we have to realize, you know, we are a young team. We still had, we had a lot of freshmen playing last year who are now sophomores and taking on certain roles and stuff and expectations and how to handle, how to handle all these things. Um, it's huge. And um, I feel like a lot of us have learned that this year. And so, you know, going forward, you know, we're, we're going to be able to, you know, be really mature in everything that we do. What was the scene like as you guys found out which bowl you're playing? Given that you don't pay much attention to it going in, kind of your selection Sunday was today. How yeah. was the atmosphere? Um, you know, honestly, Twitter, I think, beats everything nowadays. <laughs> so everybody knew, you know, before even our meeting where we were going. But, um, you know, I feel like the, the, the vibes and, you know, how everybody felt coming into the facility was pretty sweet. Um, all the guys were really excited. And, you know, when we were waiting for the meeting and stuff, you know, everyone was in a pretty good mood. And, and uh, we had Jamie Pollard, you know, explain what went ha what uh, went on, um, and then Coach Campbell just, you know, really told us what what's going on and you know what we're going to do. So um, we're all really excited about it. You guys had last week off. I think Coach Campbell said you're going to have off till Friday for practice. What did how did you handle that? It doesn't seem like you could probably stay away that that long. Yeah, no. For me, as far as like my preparation and stuff, you know, I'll still be here, you know, breaking down everything. Um, you know, I think it's it's a good time. You know, we've already gotten into self reflection on. You know how the season went, watching film on the things we did good and the things that we didn't do good, and um, you know still spend some time on that. But then at the same time, you know, um, you know get ready for this game and watch film on you know Notre Dame and everything's gonna be huge. And um, also just getting everybody healthy. You know, we had, it's been a long season. And, you know, there's been some like people banged up here and there, and so I think this this these next couple of days will be huge. Um, just getting everybody right and uh, you know physically and mentally for the game. Brock, Jamie Pollard was talking a little bit about one of the appeals that the Camping World Bowl liked was hearing that Matt Campbell had been extended with sticking around. For you guys as players, when you found out this week, I guess what it mean to you guys to hear it? I mean, are you guys hearing kind of, I mean, you guys tend to hear everything. Are you hearing that outside noise, all those rumors and stuff like that? Yeah, um, you know, I think a lot of guys, you know, hear certain things and whatnot about, you know, where your coach is going to go possibly. 
and all the, all these kind of things. And there's a bunch of rumors that go on. You don't know what's true and what's not. But um, you know, personally, you know, we all know Coach. Um, and if we have an issue, we go to him and just ask him, and he'll he'll be straight up with us. And so for us players in the walls, we knew what was going on. Um, and honestly, like um, you know, we all believed in in Coach and his staff and in in each other. Um, that whatever whatever happens, you know, the rest of the season and his decision is, is fine. And, um, you know, we knew that um, he was he's a man of his word. He's a loyal coach. And when he tells us that he's staying, you know, we, kn- we know that's, that's the truth. So. Have you taken advantage of that? What, has there been a time where you've been like, OK, I'm kind of worried about what I'm hearing for this job or that job and gone up to him and said, do I need to worry about this? Um, yeah, I mean, there's been times where, you know, the rumors start up and, you know, it'll probably happen again soon in the next couple of years and next year or whatever. It's, it always happens, it seems like, here with Coach. But um, for me, like, I, yeah, I have such a great relationship with Coach Campbell that I could just shoot him a text or call him and go walk into his office. He leaves his door open for us and um, I just ask him straight up front. And so during the season this year, when all that stuff's going on, um, you know, there's guys in the locker room talking about it. We just go right up to Coach Campbell, and he tells us the truth. So um, that's really what happened this year. And you know, um, he's a loyal coach, and I'm glad that he's staying. And I knew that he would. So how anxious are you just to get back on the football field and play a team like Notre Dame? Yeah, um, I want, honestly, we're really excited, especially you know the way things ended in Manhattan. You know, it's going to be a, a great test for us to you know show everybody what Iowa State, what Iowa State football is really about. And um, we just got to stick to playing our game, not get caught up in all the emotions of the game and whatnot. But um, you know, I know that all of us, especially the seniors, you know, they're we're on a mission to you know set set things straight for the season and um, go out the right way. So um, again, we're really excited.